So you've just met somebody and you like them. They're charismatic, they're attractive, and you really want to get something going. You send a couple text messages. You don't get a response. And now you're confused. You don't really feel that they're ghosting you because you actually think you had a connection, but you're not getting a response. And finally, finally, you do get a response. When you call them out on it, they tell you they're interested, but they also preface it by saying, I'm a bad texter. What have they just told you? I'll decode that. Susan Winter for SusanWinter.net. So here is this dating game and here's what that means. When somebody tells you point blank, I'm a bad texter, that is code for I do not prioritize anything incoming that I don't feel like paying attention to. And that includes you. You will not be a priority. Don't look for it. Don't expect it. I'll pay attention if I feel like it, but I'm telling you right now to understand that the way that you will communicate with me is if and when I feel like responding. These are the conditions because I'm so self-involved. There's nobody else that counts in my world but me. So you'll always feel like you're in a situationship. You'll never feel valued. You'll never feel that we're in an equal partnership. This is the ride you're signed up for. Got it? Okay, thank you. It's not an excuse. It's a statement. It shows the mentality of the person you're with. Anyone who is bothering to be online anybody who's bothering to actually respond to you and have a date should be doing so with the intention of actually getting to know you and being available. If they're not, it's a dating game and you're going to be at a loss. So if you don't mind being deprioritized, if you don't mind being jammed into a compartment where somebody might pay attention, if they feel like it, if they have time, if you don't mind your text messages being disregarded, and if you don't mind inconveniencing this person's life and feeling horrible about yourself as though you have no worth and no meaning to them because that's what it is, then enter this relationship. It will be situational. It will be at their convenience. And maybe the best you're going to get is some infrequent sex. Maybe, maybe, maybe. So I'm a bad texter. Be careful of anyone who says this. It's not a generous, thoughtful heads up. It's actually a huge red flag that lets you know that they are not interested in being bothered with anything outside of themselves. It's very selfish and it, I, I really don't even understand it. I just know that many of my clients are going through this and they feel very, very confounded. And unfortunately, those who have taken the directive and assumed and agreed to this position and actually stay invested emotionally and physically in a relationship with somebody who has chosen to be a bad texter, they're miserable. They're miserable. So those are your choices. Just be aware. It's not an excuse. It's bad dating behavior. Susan Winter for SusanWinter.net. And if you would like some information on any other dating game along with this, please feel free to reach out to me on my website. I do consultations and also I have the Dating Games Guide, which is now an app. And the Dating Games Guide is a compilation of 10 hours of the best of my material on seduction games, dating games, hot and cold, all these different tricks that when somebody's pushing you across the game board and you feel triggered to respond, not as yourself, but just respond and you know something's going on, it'll decode it in an instant. Thanks a lot. Susan Winter for SusanWinter.net.